Well, there are now seven cases of coronavirus in the state of Tennessee, and that includes five in Middle Tennessee, one in West Tennessee, and one case here in East Tennessee. That case is in Sullivan County, according to state health leaders. It's about two hours from Knoxville, home to Bristol and Kingsport. Kentucky health leaders confirmed two more cases in that state today, bringing its total to eight. Now, leaders at the University of Tennessee say they are meeting almost daily to stay up to date on all things COVID-19. Reporter Gabrielle Hayes shows us how the school is staying prepared. If you're wondering about students returning from Italy, the university says they are not going to class. The students from Italy uh, were uh, told to self-isolate as required by CDC guidelines. Uh, as far as we know, that's been total compliance. Some of them have gone home to do that. But by self-quarantine, does that mean they are by themselves? The university says yes. Right, they are in self-isolation and none of them have tested positive. None of them have shown symptoms at this point. UT is also prepping for possibly moving classes online. We're still looking to find out and, and look for, for what that trigger point would be. On Tuesday, an email went out to students asking them to bring home any books they would need to complete their work and to get familiar with online platforms like Canvas and Zoom. Make sure that you know where your travel plans are going and what the recommendations are uh, both entering and exiting that area. UT also says it doesn't have the capabilities to test patients. The only place that uh, COVID testing is available now are through particular labs. We also asked if any students have reported any discrimination based on being from a country with an outbreak. The university says so far, no. If those were to arise, we would follow normal protocols to follow up. The school says it's constantly learning about how to protect students. That includes doubling down on cleaning as they head into spring break.